hey guys on this video i will be doing a wash day using the afrosense hair products i first wet my hair and then apply the shampoo onto my hair because the shampoo is very gentle uh, you do not get that much of a leather so i had to use quite a few pumps but the shampoo goes a long way As you can see the shampoo does leather up the leather is just not that strong I had to go just put on a few more pumps before I could feel that my scalp is clean I then rinse out the shampoo by the way you guys don't judge the way i wash my hair this is the getaway of washing hair this is how i grew up washing my hair we had no shampoo i mean showers i still don't have a shower so this is the otd way of doing it I will then use my microfiber towel to just dry my hair. I gently massage my hair and scrunch the towel through my hair. I will then take the uh, conditioner. At first, I just wanted to apply the conditioner onto my hair, but then I thought, let me just section my hair so that it will be easier for me to detangle because I also wanted to do thorough detangling with my hair. I haven't detangled my hair in such a long time and it was in a protective style. So I just used a few hair clips to separate my hair into sections. And then I apply the conditioner onto each section. I found that the conditioner is very, very slippery, but it does not have enough slip for me to be able to detangle my hair. So I just mix it up with another conditioner, which is the Moai conditioner. And that allowed me to actually start detangling my hair. So I will do that throughout the sections before I start detangling. There are a lot of knotted hair and stray hairs that are coming out because my hair is just so, so tangled. And like we're always told, working in sections with your hair helps you a lot and it actually makes the process faster and it's very gentle to your hair because it uh, avoids it makes you avoid tagging your hair when you're working with your hair so tagging your hair leads to a sensitive scalp and a lot of hair breakage so when your hair is in sections it is very easy for you to work with it once i am done i start by first finger detangling before I go in with my wide tooth comb and like I showed you guys in the previous video I first start at the tips of my hair and move down towards the roots and as I detangle I also use my fingers just to reduce breakage this is how much hair I have lost in that section and I just go back in remove any stray hairs from the detangling se session i will then just twist the hair and put it back into that section again and then we'll go, we'll go again first you finger detangle making sure that all strands of hair that are tied together do not tug too much on the comb start at the end of the hair and move down towards the roots of the hair okay. 
so all the knots are coming out as you can see on the comb and on my fingers so here my, my hair was really really tangled from a protective style so I had to slowly go through the hairs with my fingers yeah becoming strong and this is how much hair i lost during the detangling section which is not really that much i just put on my shower cap and i sit for a few minutes rinse out the conditioner and then just dry my hair i will wait for my hair to be damp a little bit before going in with my moisturizers when i moisturize i use the lco method which is the liquid cream and oil i will start with the afrosense daily hair spray this spray makes my hair really really soft and moisturized so i lightly spray throughout my hair and i massage it in to my hair next i follow up with the leave-in conditioner this conditioner is very very lightweight I massage it or scrunch it into my hair and I focus on the hairline also just to keep it moisturized next up I will follow up with their whipped shea butter This butter feels very, very fluffy on my hands. It has a very lightweight formula. The way she whipped the shea butter, I feel that instead of the shea butter being the heavy consistency that we're used to, this one was very light for me. I like how it combines the moisture. Next up, we i'm uh, going to use the hair oil i start from my edges on my hairline move to the back and then go in to my roots and throughout my hair and after a few minutes of drying, this is how my hair looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on my socials. Bye.